Hey everybody, channel's called Driving Home. I'm Lamont and welcome to another one of my videos. So I'm parked out here on a side street up in Denver, Colorado. And while I got a little time to kill as I wait to pick up my next load, I'm going to try and uh, record a video showing you how I set up a shower inside my work truck. Okay, first thing we got to do, um, get to my water. And this is uh, my old, my dirty clothes and the towel from yesterday. Get my Instapot out of the way. And in this white bucket that I usually pre-fill at work is where I keep my fresh water. Now, it's, uh, it's about half full now because that's usually about how much I use every time I take a shower. But, um that's what's left over from yesterday let me get some lights on in the bunk hopefully we can see this get the curtains out of the way and then the next step would be to take my trash can here and get it out of the way and take this and get it out of the way It'll be fine up there for now. And then I could suck the bucket right down in this area. Usually take off the lid so that I can get my, my bucket heater situated. Let's see here. Get this out of the box. I usually put this in here. Now normally the bucket is is almost full. I mean the water level will come up to here easily. And um I think I think it needs to be pretty tall on the heater so as to not burn it up, burn itself up when I plug it in. But um there's an outlet right back here where I usually plug this guy in. Now before I plug this in real quick, um I put this end on it because once I plug it in, this thing lights up. And without this, there's no other lights or any other indication on the device that tells me that it's that it's on, that it's that it's heating up. So I like this little um I don't know, it cost me a couple of bucks, but this little adapter for this very reason. Once I plug it up, you see it's lit up telling me that it's that it's warming up. So I, I just unplugged it because I don't want it to actually warm up, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of um, how that would work. So after about 20 to 30 minutes, the water is usually at a nice comfortable shower temperature. So I, um, I take the heater here, I'm trying to figure out how to do this one handed. Usually get it out the way while it's cooling off. and. Over here in this cubby hole area is where I keep the pump and the on off switch for the pump, which I have. It's just a lamp switch that I got at a hardware store and wired it in in between the cigarette lighter plug and the and the pump. So the cigarette lighter plug, I plug that in. It has it has a fuse in the in this section here in this tip um, to protect the wire, but I also put a fuse in line in the circuit. And um, usually I can just reach back here. There's a cigarette lighter port. Plug that in. I think it's I think it's on. And then I'll take the bucket and set the bucket up here on the shelf. So from here, I just need to um, put the pump inside the bucket, wire and all. And it usually sinks to the bottom, but either way I can sort of get it to fall down in there. And um, then I'm ready to draw the shower curtain. Um, that's the front curtain and I have it set up where once I get it to this side, I can just take it off the hooks and hook it over here. So the last two tabs will cross over here. And then just like on this side, I've got two from this curtain and two from the other curtain overlapping to create 
a way to seal it to keep the water from getting through that opening. Oftentimes I'll set my shampoo and conditioner right over here, maybe a, my facial soap. And then I also have this container here that I can hook over the shower curtain as sort of a soap dish and keep a wash rag or a soap or whatnot in there as well. And then, of course, just drawing the other curtain around to kind of give it that full circle um, type of deal. And like I said, it'll come underneath the switch. And from the inside the shower, I can turn the switch on and off. And that brings the water right overhead. Um, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate the water pressure, but I don't want to be standing <laughs> here in the uh, line of fire when I do. Now, this container, normally I move it out of the way so the tub will have room to sit down in here. Up here is, a, is the tub. It's a big 15-gallon rubber tub, and when I'm not using it, I store a bunch of stuff in it uh, so that it doesn't slide around and whatnot. But this is a, it's like a feed tub or something I got at one of the farm stores. Um, so it holds 15 gallons, but uh, I never get more than two to three gallons, two and a half to three gallons of water in it on any given shower. And it makes it really easy to discard the water when I'm done. And so now you can actually see how the shower curtain falls just inside of the tub. And that helps to contain the water. And if we go up top here, you can... We can watch the shower head as I turn on the water. Now, that shower head's about seven and a half feet up in the air. I think the ceilings are about almost eight feet from floor to ceiling. So there's plenty of headroom for me to walk underneath it, uh, even underneath the, uh, the hula hoop without having to stoop down or anything. So that's why I'm, I'm real comfortable leaving it set up. But um, I got the switch in my hand. Let's see here. One off switch and See how it comes down. Yeah, it's a pretty good little water flow, little water flow there. So I end up with a pretty good little shower. Got a little bit on my leg, but no big deal. Something like that. So that makes for a, a really nice shower. So there you have it. Um, I just wanted to give you guys uh, a look at my simple and very basic shower setup that I use in here. Because when I get to the point where I'm ready to install a shower in the step van, I think I'm going to start out with something just as simple, just as basic as what I just showed you here. A um, couple of shower curtains, a, a pan to catch the water and um, a pump and a shower head with a switch in between. Um, no reason to really get anything more elaborate than that. Now as I gather up um, the parts for a more permanent shower and because uh, I got to find this stuff with you know some discounted prices, clearance items, things like that. I don't like paying regular price for anything. <laughs> so if I come across and start finding the parts that I can use to make what will look like a more permanent shower installation, I can do that. Um, wire it in or plumb it into the, the 55 gallon tank directly and to an instant hot water um, setup so that once you turn on the water from inside the shower, a few seconds later you have uh, you know, a comfortable hot shower going. So it, it can all happen down the road, but I just think initially I wanna keep it simple and uh, make it so that I can quickly get my step van up and running. But if you managed to hang into this video this long, let me thank you for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers and we'll see you in the next video.